In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can allow clients to pay you over a couple of months. So for example, you give them a payment option, a payment plan, and you want to keep track of that payment plan in QuickBooks Online, you've come to the right video. So this is called Progress Invoicing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to this icon up here and this is called the gear icon we're going to click on here so when your account and settings open up you're going to click on the sales tab and then you are going to scroll down until you see progress invoicing you are going to click on click on it you're going to turn it on and it says update your invoice template to an enable progress invoicing you need to switch to your newest template so set this template as your new default and just click update yes update the template already <laughs> save and then you're going to click done now we're going to go up to the new button and we are going to create an estimate right then we're going to put in the customer's name so amy's bird sanctuary they're a new client and I, for my business, I do cleanups. So this will apply to all bookkeepers. You have cleanup jobs, but you know, you want to be able to get the client and obviously allow them to pay down over a couple of months or, you know, whatever business it is that you do, you are going to give your client the option to be able to pay you over a period of time. All right. So you're going to put in the customer's name. It's going to be just like a normal, you know, if you go do an invoice or anything like that, you're going to put in the estimated date. So the estimate date is, so, and then you're going to put in the date. Now this date is, I put this as the date that my contract actually started. So let's say that I'm going to start them at the 1st of August. So I'll put it from the 1st of August. And let's say that I am giving them up three months to pay down so then i'll go that's august is one month september and then october and i'll put it to the 31st of october so that's three months that this will expire the service date is obviously the date that the first time that you're going to start service with them so i put in the first of august because that's when it will start and then i'm going to put in well i'm going to put in do something random right now just for a quit but normally this will be like a bookkeeping cleanup um but let's say that they're just calling it concrete um and they are and it came up to five thousand dollars and it's not taxable and i am going to now save and close this So, so that's the first part. The next part now is I have to go and create an invoice for that. So I'm going to go into sales and I'm going to go into customers and I'm going to click on Amy. Then I'm looking for the estimate that I just created and I'm going to create an invoice from this estimate. So that's why I came in here because I don't want to just go create a new invoice I want the invoice to be linked to this estimate so in the next three months this is how I'll be creating invoices for Amy and so I'm going to click on create invoice so QuickBooks will open up this bit here it says how much do you want to invoice and you can choose you can customize the amount so you can put how much money you want it to be um, when you get inside of the invoice or you can put it here so mine is roughly going to be 33 percent and because she's having three months i'm going to click create invoice now that this invoice has been opened up the estimate every single thing that's in the estimate has been placed inside of the invoice so you see the dates the date of service and you have the percentage so let's say i came in here and i'm like well that's not exactly what it is because really and truly it's supposed to be 16.666 
0.67 or something like that. Anyhow, I'll put it in and see because I sure I probably called too much citizen just now. Anyhow, um, so I came in here and I'm like, well, this is not exactly the amount that, I, that I'm going to charge them. I can change this. So click on under due. I click on the, this percentage and then I choose amount. And then I can change this amount to the 16.6.67. And then I can also change it back to the percentage amount and it will calculate it for me. And that's how, you know, it looks fancy. <laughs> it does look fancy. Like you did all that calculation. No one knows that quick but help you. And then you will save and you can save and send it. You can save and close. You can save and share a link. And I already showed you how to do all those things. So anyhow, so we're going to save and close because I want to show you how this looks. Now the invoice has been created, right? So then when you go inside of the estimate, go inside of the estimate and you scroll down, you will see the amount of money that was invoiced and the amount of money that is remaining, right? And this is how you keep track of how much money the person still owes you on a certain project or a certain job that you build them for. And as you invoice them over time, this will obviously continuously, um, the total will increase and then this total will decrease. Thank you guys for watching. And if you have any questions, put it in the comment section of this video and do it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.